Okay, so our fourth game for today is Harakana. I think that's how it's pronounced. This game, I think it's pronounced uh, Lorisii. Yeah, I've botched that one. It's the one with that um, animated cat thing. And uh, yeah, we played a few games from that. I think the first game we played was, um, was it Quest for the Time Bird? Lorisii. And uh, yeah, here we go. Raid International um, Montanege? Quebec, Canada, 90. Okay. They, they really like that cat animation, don't they? Okay, so... Let's delve deeper. Quite a production. Um, we press fire, the music stopped. Ah, here we go. Do we press fire? Here we do. Oh, well, here we go. Wow, okay. Uh, I don't... I'm not a fan... I think we had a problem with another driving game with this mechanic. I don't like the way that you can go directly... You, you know, that like, you know, like facing directly left and right. Oh, hit a log. Yeah, this one's going to be um, challenging to control. Oh, do we have to go... Th I don't know if we have to go through the uh, flags or not. I mean, if they're there, then probably. This is really difficult. It looks quite pretty. I just wish <laughs> I just wish the controls were a bit like Lotus. Just a touch. Without the whole going all the way Yeah, I really hate like you have it turn, but not not to this degree. Like it doesn't it only serves to make it even harder. Detection's a tiny bit off as well. I don't want to get stuck in a log. It's not my idea of a good time. Right, and those uh, snow uh, hills really sort of kill your speed. Or well, I think everything just kills our speed. Don't tell me we're doing better than this guy. Um, is there an end to this? Feels like we've been racing for quite a while now. Well, 
or do we have to sort of weave around the flags? Yes, I hope that the objectives aren't more than, in my mind, I thought, okay, just raced from one end to the other. But uh, I'm guessing we have to do other things as well. Why did we go through that tree? I have no idea. Did we hit like a ramp, perhaps? That made us sail past the tree? Can I pause this? I guess I have to pause it like this. Okay, um... So I'm just reading through it. To load Havacana. Yeah, unfortunately there's not a lot to showcase on the manual. It's just, yeah, it's um, it's two sheets of paper. One's in French, the other's in English. And that's kind of it. Uh, the call of the far north and of the gigantic Canadian lands, the magic of the marvellous stories of Jack London and his famous white fan. Uh, okay, which comes to us from the highest latitudes, the Indian name of a river in James Bay, Quebec. Oh, it was F1 to pause, F2 for sounds off and on. F10 to get into the videotape recorder mode. Or go back to the race. Oh, so it is a race. Okay, it just seemed like it took forever. How long is this race going to go on for? Well, there we go. Oh. And on. <laughs> I think we made it. Oh, there we go. I just felt like it went forever. To the point where I was actually questioning if that was the true objective or not. Who's this chap? He seems very pleased about something. It just seems it just seems very random. Like he belongs like he should really belong to a game show. Uh okay. So I guess this stands for race number two. Now it's a little bit darker.
And it also seems to be one of those games where um, when you crash into another vehicle, like nothing happens to them, but uh, you slow down instead. Only you. Okay, that was a nasty spill. First time this happened. Kind of glad it did. Maybe if you hit something at with a much faster speed, you get that animation. Wish it was like Road Rash, where you just punch people left and right. Or just like grab a log and just like pelt it against someone. I mean, it, it, it truly is. It's amazing to look at. And that... Okay, that race seemed a lot shorter than before. But then again, I wasn't sure if I was doing a race or not. Or rather, it was like some obstacle course. Who who is this person? Honestly, who is this winking guy? <laughs> yeah, Mibbles. Who? Yeah, he he showed up last time as well. Big old Elvis Elvis McSmile. Johnny Bumpkin, famous snowmobile guy. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it is funny. Everyone else starts, starts like two seconds before you do. He's like, I need the handicap. I am so smug. Those damn snow hills. Like they don't even make a crash in zone, they just like they don't make anything, they just slow you down to an absolute crawl. <laughs> ah, good old driver Hamut. Is there one I don't suppose there is one where he's just like waiting in traffic or, or just looks bored. I mean, it plays all right. It's just that that it's um, it's just really. I don't have him turn it all the way right. Just really kind of ruins the racing experience. And maybe just a few obstacles would go away as well, just to make it a little bit more, a little bit more manageable, a little bit more tolerant. Dare I say, a little bit more playable. There goes both of our shins. What have we got here? A new potential emote? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, there we go. And he's back. Elvis McGrin smile. God, I'd, I'd like to see his smile when he's like permanently encased in ice. Looks like he wants a hug. Looks like he wants a microphone so he can start announcing stuff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm amazed that it's allowing me to continue. Like, how many races do I have to fail for the game to go, yeah, we've had enough of you and your shenanigans.
It's weird, it doesn't, doesn't look, look like, doesn't look like he takes a proper tumble, does he? Tumbles for a bit, then just sort of stands up and then goes back. <gasps> no way! Did we nearly overtake someone? Wow. Won't last long, I know, but still. Honestly, I think I'd rather play Ski Free than this. That was the one we got. Uh, I think that was on the PC only, wasn't it? Ski Free. We had to choose um, one of three courses, and if you continued after that, you would eventually get eaten up by an abominable snowman or Bigfoot. Those were good times. Have I ever ridden in a snowb snowmobile in real life? I have not. Don't think I've... Well, I don't know what... Uh, it might be a nice experience. Just make sure the area's not like this one. It's like 80% trees and everything. I wonder how many races are there. Good. Now we're just going through. St oh, I guess like we were going through stuff for a bit. Oh, sure, you can just go right through us without penalty. He's just they're just going through the trees. Come on, ridiculous.
Why did I suddenly... <laughs> it's almost like he's um, having a bit of a tantrum, isn't he? Although, I'm not sure why I toppled over. It didn't seem like it was much of a staggering impact. I think one of these um, one of these tracks are going to spend so long on the race that they're going to start uh, a search party for me. I'm a little bit right now. How many races there are to this? Where are we we reached the half yeah we sort of reached the halfway point. It's, we've played half an hour of this, and what's that? That's after to the fifth race. Like outside of emulation, it doesn't look like there's a way to sort of save your progress. At least I don't think so. Let's go have a read up on the manual, see if there's anything else. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Oh yeah, the, to get into the videotape recorder mode, that was F10. Oh. We don't we don't really need to look at that it's not as okay it's not as cool as i thought it was um what's this conditions temperatures racing from five celsius to minus 45 celsius driving time from four to ten hours i hope that's not real time it sometimes it feels like it Yeah, I think this game would be a lot better if there was no, like, turn this much to progress. Just have it, you know, just play like a traditional arcade -y kind of game. With, uh, yeah, not as many obstacles, especially in the, like, the opening levels. But yeah, I feel like if the controls were just tweaked a little, and the difficulty was just a little bit lenient at the start. Just a little. It doesn't have to be easy, just not stupid. I feel like the game would be a bit more enjoyable. Maybe if there were ramps as well, that would uh, make it a bit more fun. And maybe a Yeti.
Sometimes it sound just I don't know, it just sound kind of reminds me of a snoring pig. Just a bit. <laughs> I mean <laughs> that's uh, you yeah, you also raise an, an interesting point, Unicron. If it was a different game it might be a better one. Like maybe if it was like a ride an elephant simulator and there was no competition, I could just like ride it at my leisure. That might be more fun. It wouldn't be in this environment. More of a sort of jungle atmosphere. Oops. There we go. I don't know, maybe show maybe this guy shows up if you're losing, just to sort of wrap it in with his big old smile.
I didn't know you can scroll it up and down. Okay. So we 13. It it doesn't matter. <laughs> it really does not matter. What the hell? That was a bit of a rally. Totally unintentional. Thank you for the hundred. I wonder if Kodoma Stars could make a better winter sports game. Let's find out in advanced ski simulator. Please, thanks. Thanks for the 100 unicorn. I've never, I don't think I've tried advanced ski simulator. I'm already certain it's going to be better than this. Also, good to see that you're keeping up um, with the Codemasters tradition. I was going to say, at this rate, um, we need to sort of bring them up and <laughs> ask them if they can produce any more. I wonder how many courses there there are to this game. Because I was expecting, I don't know, like maybe say six and then it gives you like the final results and that's it. Didn't expect this many. And uh, yeah, I also didn't expect um, I was hoping that at least one one race wouldn't be completely tedious, but um, just obstacles everywhere, and most of them, yeah, well, all of them just slow you down to an absolute crawl. Just Im just like immediate. That's that's terrible. Like they should slow you down, but not just 
stop you immediately. But trees, okay, I can understand trees and stuff. But just like a basic snow hill, you know, you, you expect to be slowed down, but just not, like, immediately stop. So it's race number eight. God. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he's so uh, cheerful. So just give me one moment. Okay, so I've added in the 100 and updated the wheel to add in Advanced Ski Simulator, which is to the left. So I just needed a five second breather from this. This is just, it's just, it's, yeah, it's really boring. <laughs> There's no, it would be nice if there was a bit more uh, variation to it. Like a kind of a, I like the graphics and I do appreciate that the courses differ slightly like um yeah depending on depending on the courses like some are a little bit darker in the day than others which is a nice touch but it needs to give us more than just trees and humps and flags and things Or at least, yeah, at least better controls. Pretty sure nothing hit me there. Thank you. 
<laughs> Games were made so kids will get used to the crushing disappointment. Yeah, maybe. That maybe it would encourage them to do their homework. If games were going to be this dull. <laughs> Sound like a rendition of the Jaws theme song. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, uh, Lois Seal logo marked on the bottom left. Just to, as a reminder that uh, those were the guys behind this game. Okay, so was it the tenth? Oh, wait a second. Why did he go down? Did you do that before? Oh, we wait. We're back on the first race. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, what? Whatever. Doesn't really phase me, we've just got five minutes to go.
Yeah, I don't think we'll be improving in this one any time next millennia. Yeah, those guys are just going through the trees. Two minutes to go, and then at last it'll be over. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm not really a fan of this one. It looks nice enough, and it is, it, it's uh, refreshing to go out, uh, you know, to play, um, I guess, a snowboard game. But, um, yeah, very strict emphasis on the word board there. Um, I think it's just a case that it's very difficult to get anywhere without like hitting a snow hill and then just having your speed just like get killed off to zero as soon as you like maintain some acceleration. I think if the controls were a little bit better the game would have would be a little bit more serviceable. And uh, yeah, as I've mentioned, it doesn't need this many obstacles. Or maybe you're supposed to go in the direction, you know, of the flags more. But um, as soon as you sort of derail yourself from that, it's almost impossible to sort of get back on track. And you're sort of left just, just going through the motions. It's certainly not my idea of a good time. Someone might get some fun out of this. But if that's the case, I'm quite certain that they've only played like two Amiga games in their life. Uh, what was the other game they played? Um, probably Deluxe Paint. Oh, here we go. Okay, the hour is up. I hope someone got some measure of enjoyment out of uh, watching that one, because, yeah, that was... 
Yeah, it wasn't terrible. It was just very... Like, once you've seen one race, you've kind of seen them all, to be fair. So, uh, yeah. Time to move on. <laughs> 